So there's been a glitch circulating the internet surrounding Terra anointed weapons which allow you to literally fire unlimited projectiles from any weapon in the game and it's kind of crazy people. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay so you might be aware of this glitch, you might not. But basically any terror anointed weapon which states while terrified, you have a chance to fire an extra projectile per shot. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. I think it's 10% with terror 1 and 30% with terror 3. The thing is people, this bonus actually stacks. So for instance, me using the shield, which in reality makes replicating this so much easier. This shield paired with Zane's seeing red skill tree perk means you can use that old trick of activating your kill skills but cancelling your action skill meaning you can apply the terror effect to yourself as the game registers the use of your action skill but because you ain't actually used it you can use it again and keep doing this and abuse this this is done by simply pressing your action skill button and quickly going into your inventory at the same time this cancels out your action skill but applies those kill skills and also applies terror to yourself so yes, this bonus projectile terror effect benefit actually stacks and what I mean by this is if you do as I do and apply terror to yourself, because you're doing this to yourself, it applies all three stacks, meaning 30%. So there's a 30% chance if you find an extra projectile per shot. Now, if you will let this terror effect cool down, you are then back to square one with no extra projectiles. But applying the terror to yourself again, you actually get extra projectiles, meaning you will shoot five as standard in my instance with the Fearmonger, which normally shoots four. So I'm getting 5 100% of the time while in that terror effect but there's also a 30% chance that I will fire another extra projectile meaning 6 projectiles where I should be 4 with a 30% chance of shooting an extra 1 meaning 5. And this just stacks and stacks people. And within a few minutes you can see on screen now me shooting up to 8. I don't even know how many is here but there's a lot shooting out of my fearmonger while terrified. And the same with my Lucian's cool, which becomes a shredding machine. Now I have seen loads of confusion over this over the past week. People on Reddit, other videos, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. As for some, it doesn't seem to be working. All I know is from my little research and testing, it worked every single time. Now the glitch here actually isn't in reference to this stacking. The glitch is something else. And that is people keeping these additional projectiles even after your terror effect has cooled down and run out meaning you can shoot with no terror effect and still maintain and have those extra projectiles. And as you can see, I got this to work on my Lucian's cool. But weirdly enough, then switching to my Fearmonger, with the effect not in place, I wasn't getting extra projectiles. But switching to my Shreddifier, you can see this working and me gaining an extra shot. So yeah, this might not work for every weapon in the game. But after hours and hours of testing people, and trust me, hours, I've actually figured out how to activate this to make it work 100% of the time. Something I haven't seen anybody else cover or state. So this is how this works. Firstly, you need a shield or grenade which allows you to apply terror to yourself. I tried this with a weapon to no avail, but it could work with enough testing. So having a shield or grenade equipped which applies terror to yourself upon action skill end, you then need a weapon equipped which has the terror anointed stat of while terrified have a chance to shoot an extra projectile then what you need is any other weapon equipped doesn't matter what it is but something with a decent magazine size does help then use your action skill by the way you don't have to use Zane's glitch it doesn't matter use your action skill as intended apply terror to yourself so once terror is applied then shoot the weapon which has the extra projectile terror anointed stat. While shooting, switch to your other chosen weapon and continue firing. Then switch back to your terror anointed weapon and empty its clip. But before it reloads, switch to your other chosen weapon, empty that clip, then switch back to your terror anointed weapon and let it reload. Doing this while still affected by terror should work for you. And as you can see on screen now, I did this exact method with various weapons, all having that terror anointed extra projectile stat and it worked first time every time. Lucian's cool, shredder fire, the duck hand cannon, you name it.
Now this glitch can be achieved also fighting against ghosts and gaining terror effect that way. And it's why many people are reporting this happened by accident. They are getting affected by ghosts, gaining that terror effect, firing, switching weapons, reloading, etc, etc. And this glitch just happening and them having no idea why or how. Also this glitch and the stacking I believe lasts until you quit to the main menu, meaning you can fast travel around and still maintain this glitch. Also it works with more than just one weapon equipped at the same time if the weapon has the terror anointed extra projectile stat. Just don't switch out the weapons once they have it, I mean you can switch between weapons, switch between your equipped weapons, just don't substitute them for something else or I do believe they will lose the stacking effect. Now this can be abused and it can be pretty damn amazing. On screen now you'll see me stacking this, not overly crazy, but still crazy. Also using this grenade which also I'm pretty sure stacks the same way, I mean I can't prove this yet, I haven't tested it enough, but I will continue testing and if it is as crazy as I think it could be, you may just see a video. So enjoy the gameplay guys in the background now, and I'm glad to assist those who are unsure about how this was done. Now the weapons I'm not sure it works on are weapons such as the Fearmonger. I mean they gain the extra projectile and it stacks the more terror you have but when that terror runs out I'm pretty sure it goes back to normal until you apply more terror. Then they gain additional benefits. I mean I started this glitch using my Fearmonger, applying terror to myself, gaining one extra projectile, the terror run that going back down to four, applying terror to myself again, shooting five as standard gaining possibly a six extra projectile and I did this for a few minutes and again up to 10 I believe, I'm not exactly sure. But I couldn't get it to stay on my Fearmonger. I think it may be weapons as standard that fire more than one projectile. It may be a little harder to achieve this on. I'm not saying it's impossible but it could be a little bit harder. But yes guys, this is how you gain those extra projectiles. The glitch we've seen many people talk about but nobody actually explain how it's done. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Now entering the clone door. Ah! <laughs>